Hello, this is Johnny Vlogger. Welcome to another car fix video. Today we're going to work on an old K10, sorry not K10, a K11 Micra 2002. We've got to change the clutch cable because it's snapped. They do break unfortunately when uh, they have a lot of use. This one's been uh, used for deliveries, this car. So as you can imagine, it's doing lots of deliveries, lots of wear and tear on the clutch pedal cable. So there it is, There's a, it's attached to the gearbox there and it, the cable goes all around the back, through there, the bolt head, and then under the dash. So what we'll do first, we'll undo it here, slacken the cable, we'll undo the two bolts at the back there, there's two 10mm bolts or 12 mil one or the other you undo them and then you can get the cable into the car under the dash and then we unhook it inside so I'll show you how you do it in stages right so the first thing is you undo you undo this wheel and the two nuts the tensioner and it's the end bit is hooked on to the gearbox that that little arm there so you slacken it off so it comes off of there and then there's um there's a hole there there's a hole there like a circle on the, a bracket you, you push it out there this rubber bit this round rubber bit and then at the back of the engine there's two 13 mil nuts that hold a bracket in and the cable just here two nuts you can see the thread there and there it's not very clear you undo them and that all slackens off and then you have to take a panel out under the dash two screws this panel here just get a Phillips screwdriver two screws that gives you access and then what you do right at the top of the pedal you might not see it here uh, right at the top of the pedal there's like a hook that the clutch cable is leaning on and you have to take the metal bracket of the clutch cable away from the hook and it slides off it's right at the top of this pedal you can't really see it there's um, not enough room but uh, I'll show you it when I get the cable out There you go, so there's the old cable out, and there's the new one next to it. If you look, they're similar, but they're not exactly the same. There's a slight difference. Then the cable looks a bit longer. It's probably stretched. The old one stretched, that's so slightly longer, because the foot was nearly... It was going in, wasn't it? Or was it, mm, it wasn't it? right, it didn't have the tension on it. Mm. So hopefully this new one will solve the problem. So let's do it, let's fit it in now. Right guys, so the new cable is in, it's fitted. The, um, so basically what I did, I put it through the back first, through the bolt head, hooked it on the clutch pedal. So there's, um, my mate's got the old cable. Have you got the old cable there? So, looking at this is the old cable. This bit here is the that's the clutch pedal end. So that bit, if you imagine that's under the dash by the pedal, this bit here at the top hooks onto the top of the clutch pedal. There's a little hook, an indentation. That bit hooks in, and then it goes through the bulkhead. This bit spacer is obviously on the engine side through that um, bracket there you don't need to take the bracket off I took it off but you don't have to take it off you just slacken it off so you just slacken the nuts so that's loose and then the whole cable will slide out from inside out to the engine bay and then it comes all around the back of the engine there's a little um, there's a little clip at the back of the engine I don't know if you can see it on the camera that it hooks into. Uh, can't really see it on camera, I'm afraid. 
But if I show you there, it's going round the back there. And then, if I can get my finger in there, then you'll see it on camera. Let's have a look. It's very difficult. But there you go, you can actually see it on camera now. There you go, there's the bracket there at the back. There's a little metal bracket and it's hooked in. And then it goes round, slides into that metal bracket the rubber bit and then the rest of it hooks on at the front of the gearbox you hook it in there and then you just adjust it with the wheel there's a wheel and a nut and you just turn that and then you test it inside start the engine up pick your biting point and you set it where you think you're happy with it and then the little nut the 10 mil nut you then tighten that up or just do it finger tight against the bracket so you um, uh, it's always awkward when you're trying to film something so that nut there you just tighten it up turn it right clockwise so it's finger tight if you want to tie it up with a spanner you can but you don't need to and then that's all set up and it's done easy peasy so that takes about if you're quite good, you could probably do it in 20 minutes. If you're not very good, maybe up to an hour. An hour should be ample enough to do that. If you can't do it after an hour, then yeah. probably best to find someone else ten, that can do it. 20 minutes you could do that. I just bet it's on the coat, pit and the pedal. That's it. Yeah. Get up, it's done, it's done. So there you go. If you like this video, click the like button. Subscribe, Johnny Vlogger UK. And... Uh, I'll see you in the next video. So I'll show you the dash. The dash has all been put back. The panel's been put back. There's a little panel there with two screws. And you hook the cable on at the top of the clutch pedal. Okay, bye-bye.